What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the After Prison Show. Dave here, uh, kind of taking over the world. We got some good content for you today. Oh, hell no. What the hell's he think he's doing up here? First off, I want to say, you know, thanks for all the love. Y'all really uh, know how to motivate somebody. And I've been here now like three days. Hey, man, wait, what? What are you doing? Uh. Are you wearing my shirt? Dude, what? I've been here. Th you have held me hostage for three days. You got my shirt on. You've got those are my shorts right there. Where the hell did you even get my clothes from? You got my boxers on too? Maybe. Oh my god. I thought we were cool. You said me casa su casa. I didn't mean take over my my studio. I do like it in here. It's nice. Uh uh. Nope. No siree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe, are you mad? Slide over, man. Good <laughs> lord. Can I get in my own show? Did you at least do the introduction? Did I do? I think I did the introduction pretty well. And how did you do the introduction? I said, uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the no, After Prison no, Show. No, no, That's not what we say. We don't say, what's up, everybody. We say, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Dave, can I do my thing here? Do it, do it. Please. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show, and obviously Dave is taking it upon himself to begin this video for me. What exactly is this video about? Do you have any idea what the video is about? I think I do. Well, what is it? We're going to be talking about the worst mug shots you've ever seen. Oh my god, you actually did know. You were paying attention. I'm glad that you were doing that. And that is exactly what we're going to do in this video today. We are going to take a look, me and Dave together, two good old boys who've been locked up in the Virginia State Penitentiary for all you hating ass motherfuckers. We're not going to acknowledge the hate, but we are going to talk about, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the worst mug shots ever. This is such a good fit. It's almost like in prison with peach. <laughs> not going in the video. But anyways, with all of that being mentioned, Dave, what do you say we just go ahead and dive head first into this video? There's a reason why I want to do this worst mugshot video, and that's because, you know, just yesterday they had this operation spring cleaning that just took place in the city of Chesapeake where we are. And what this means is, well, what does this mean, Dave, when they do these things? Well, if you have a warrant for your arrest in the city of Chesapeake, you are probably in jail right now. You are definitely a target for the police, and they are looking for you. And with these operations, such as Operation Spring Cleaning, this is a little thing that they do where they go out and they're looking for everyone who is wanted in the city of Chesapeake. Well, it's a good thing we're not wanted in the city of Chesapeake. And thank God we are both still here today to be able to film this video. So obviously we don't have warrants. But it was crazy because I was looking at the mug shots of all of these people who got arrested. And there was like 60 something people that they, they locked up. Hell, we knew some of these people too, didn't we? Yeah. It's crazy to see guys that we have been locked up with, I've been locked up with, you've been locked up with, and we're looking through the mug shots and we're like, hey, I know that guy. I was locked up with him. But all of this got me to thinking about just how crazy uh, some people can really look in their mug shots. Well, when they come to pick you up on a warrant, most of the time you get caught off guard. Yeah. Might be right when you wake up. Might be after a long night of ripping and running and you look like hell. That is true as well. They might have caught you in the middle of a rip or a run. <laughs> they could have done that as well. Dave, uh, you know, you have a pretty crazy story about being on the run and actually getting arrested, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, you want to tell that? You want to tell about uh, what happened while you were at work one night? <laughs> I was um, I was cooking at a bar and grill around here. They had called me. They called me up. They were, they were like, where are you at? I said, I'm at work. They were like, well, we just want to give you full warning that you have a warrant for your arrest and we are going to pick you up. So could you just walk outside? So they were already, they already knew where you were. Well, I didn't believe them. <laughs> They're the police. How are you not going to believe them when they call you and say, we're giving you a chance to turn yourself in and walk out with your hands up before we swat the place? Well, <laughs> well they didn't, they didn't, they weren't outside. They were just, they were giving me a chance to come down and turn myself in. They were like, you got an hour. At least you didn't think they were right outside. Yeah, I didn't think they were right outside. So I didn't turn myself in and about an hour and a half after the phone call, 
Man, there was like 15 cops inside this tavern that I worked in. A restaurant slash bar. Restaurant slash bar pulling me out of the kitchen. And I'm sure there were customers in there and they were probably looking at you like, oh my god, what the hell did he do? Did he did he kill somebody? Yeah, there was a there was a good 25 people in there. Were you yelling, I didn't do it! I didn't do it! You got the wrong guys, not me! No, I actually I asked them if they would take me out the back. And they were like, Well, we already gave you a chance to leave of your own free uh free will. And I didn't, so they dragged me through the lobby just to embarrass make you. a fool of me there's been plenty of times where that's happened to me they'll show up somewhere to try to arrest me when i've had warrants and well joe is basically he's running uh, and it's going to be a foot chase a lot of times they end up catching me there's been some times that i have gotten away i have a, a run story well we're going to save that for another time dave we're not going to talk about running from the police in this video what we are going to talk about though is getting back on track and the worst mug shots ever uh, yeah ever. oh my god and, and and with this we're going to show you guys some of these mug shots i swear every single mug shot that we're about to show you in here definitely needs to be made a meme of uh, these are actually kind of funny and i just want to discuss with you dave uh while looking at these mug shots, you know, what are what are some your thoughts? Ideas for some memes? Not even ideas for memes, but just what are your thoughts on, you know, the circumstances leading to why these people are looking the way that they are in these mug shots? Uh, so without further ado do ball, let's go ahead. You like that? Yeah. You remember the doo doo balls? How awesome were the doo doo balls? I love them. For such a crazy prison name, it was actually kind of a delicious meal. It was a treat. It really was. So we're going to start with this first guy right here, Dave. Uh, let's see if we can... Oh, I don't even know how to do this, actually. What the hell are you doing, Joe? Joe, what are you doing? I don't know. Dave, so let's just go ahead and start with this guy <laughs> right here. Just looking at this picture right here, I mean, what in the hell? What is going on? Are those even really his teeth? Because, honestly, I kind of feel like... Well, I mean, I would be pissed off if that was the fake grill that they gave me. Oh, good lord. This guy has like a freaking turtle mouth. Uh, Wouldn't you be afraid if you were the person taking this picture? Uh, you know, he almost looks like he's just happy to be here. Like, hey, they got me! <laughs> <laughs> Toast to the good life for going back to jail. I love it. <laughs> Do you think he's drunk? Do you think possibly he's under the influence it of It looks anger? like someone like edited the picture and took the hamburger away from his face. <laughs> Man, he is screaming at the frickin' <laughs> at the guy taking it. Don't take that photo! <laughs> he may be singing, actually. He, you know, he may be in, in, in song right here. Like, what song could he possibly be singing here? And I <laughs> will always love. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't wait to see it. You know, again, I said every one of these pictures really deserves to be its own personal meme. You know, we're, all jokes aside, he's really just clearing his throat. <laughs> prison selfies. <laughs> hey, you actually had a prison selfie, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. You did. Yeah. We're going to have to show that in an upcoming video. Dave actually had a cell phone while he was in prison. That was kind of a... It was in the jail. Yeah. Kind of a crazy situation. And how exactly did you get that in there? You had to suitcase it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not going in this video. It was a small suitcase. <laughs> or, a, or a gigantic phone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just look at the utter look of shock on this guy's face. Like, he, I don't even know if he's still in shock because of the fact that he's just been arrested for whatever charge. Or because of the fact that he's still in shock over just how long his neck is. <laughs> his adopted parents just told him his mother was a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you being serious right now? This is jail? How tall do you think this guy is? What if he's only five foot tall? <laughs> if he was only five foot tall, this picture would be, make absolutely even less sense. You know? His neck is actually longer than how long his actual head is. You know, that's just... <laughs> So, if you just had to take a guess of what this guy was actually like thinking at this very moment, what would be the first thing that comes to mind if you had to do that? Oh, well this one, this real. I didn't do it. <laughs> you have the wrong guy. Now, uh, he's definitely not making that type of a face. He's making that face like, oh shit, I hope they don't find the rest of the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Did I remember to bury all of those graves in my backyard? <laughs> Alright, to the next one. Bongo, oh my goodness! 
Where did this even come from? Like, I forgot all about this picture right here. Is that a dude? Is that... <laughs> is that an old lady? I don't even know, man, but one thing about it... Look at the neck muscle on that <laughs> Look at the Look at the traps, man. <laughs> What's going on with this, man? She does shrugs. Oh, my God. Look. He does shrugs. She or he is definitely somebody that I do not ever want to run across. Can you imagine, like, this was somebody that you saw in the cell block? And, I mean, I definitely saw plenty of people locked up who sort of resembled this person right here. Is that a glass eye? <laughs> What do you think she's locked up for? Let's just say, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's say it's a she. What do you, what did she do? She had, she got a drunk in public. Okay, I can go for that. She definitely looks like she could be under the influence right now. Look, you know why she's looking like that at the camera, right? She's mean mugging. Well, it's, she has been in the cell for about four hours. She's been banging on the door asking for toilet paper. And the guy who's taking the picture just kept walking by. <laughs> and never brought her no toilet paper. You ain't ever gonna bring me no toilet paper boy. What are the chances that there's any teeth at all in her mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look, let's move on to the next one. Are you ready for this? I have no idea what this next picture is gonna be. Let's all go. Right, let's just see what let's it say, is. Go. Oh my god! <laughs> he got knocked off in the middle of a haircut. Oh my god, like what is going on? This dude's got like a landing strip literally, right? Like, that is the most pronounced part I have ever seen in somebody's head. Oh my god. He was like, hey look, can you just park my hair to the side? And they were like, I'm, I've never really done a part before. I'm not exactly sure how this would work. But I'm just gonna run the clippers completely straight across your forehead. Can you imagine running into this guy in the cell block? Like, what would be the very first question you would ask this guy right here? What are you locked up for? <laughs> Do you cut hair? <laughs> are, you, <laughs> are you the barber? <laughs> he got out the barber chair and was like, this is not what I paid for. <laughs> I gave you four ramen noodles. Why the hell does my hair look like this? <laughs> I thought you was going to fix it. Yo, this is the funny thing. I've seen that happen in prison before. Not that exact thing, but I've seen, you know, fights over getting bad haircuts. Well, I've seen, you know, the, the cornball guy, whatever, go get his hair cut. And the dude like butcher him, butcher him on purpose, and basically tell him, get it from the rough. Yeah, like, lace up, put them shoes what you, on. What what you gonna do about it? And what happens in most of them in, in them cases? Most of the time, he'll go and borrow some of these clippers <laughs> and <laughs> cut, <laughs> cut his own hair. So he's not gonna put his shoes on and like fight this guy over the bad haircut. I've seen people getting fights over haircuts, though. I mean, yeah, I've seen one dude get. People are so particular about their hair in prison, like, why is my line way back here? You push my line back! You push my line back! Oh my god! <laughs> you better go put them shoes on. I, I seen a dude not even say nothing. He got out the chair. They were in the uh, in the bathroom at Indian Creek. Got out the chair, went and looked in the mirror and was like... And went right back and rocked this dude. Walked out of the bathroom, put his shoes on, <laughs> came back in the bathroom while dude was cleaning up and just dropped him. Like, left dude slumped next to the toilet. Let's look at this next picture and let's see what's really going on with this next one. I have no idea what this next picture what's is. What's next? So we got... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what Hey is... look, we what got this? one guy half giraffe and this guy's half chameleon. <laughs> like, how the hell do you even get your eyes to do that? Like, that has to be photoshopped. <laughs> There's no way that is for real. Uh... <laughs> What do you think is like actually going on right here though? Like, is he making fun of this situation? They're like, get ready to take your mug shot. You know, stand right there and we're gonna take your picture. And he did this on purpose to be funny or maybe he's just that drunk or like that high that he can't even, they were, like, they were like, look straight at the camera. He was like, I'm trying. Where is the, which camera? Which one? <laughs> This dude is definitely on some bad stuff right here. Whatever the hell the circumstances lead into this picture are, my uh, God. I am uh, so glad. My yeah. eyes don't do that. Or, you know, that I've never taken a mugshot that looked this bad. Don't get me wrong, I've taken plenty of horrible mugshots. Yes. I can only imagine you have as well. Oh my God. But this right here is just like, what the fuck is going on with this guy's eyes, man? Yo, it's broken. It's broken eyes. It's not broke wing, it's broke eyes. Have you ever, you got Snapchat? No. You don't have Snapchat? They got these things on Snapchat. They're like... No, the filters? Yeah. And one of them is like these big eyes and they just like <laughs> roam all over the place. So basically this mugshot was taken with a Snapchat it's a filter. Snapchat filter. <laughs> <laughs> Those were some pretty damn crazy uh, prison mugshots. What do you say there, Dave? Let's rate them. Let's who, what? who won? Yeah, which one of those prison mugshots do you think was the absolute worst. Uh, we definitely want to know. Leave a comment down below letting me know that and please, for the love of God, if anybody out there would turn every single one of these 
mugshot into a prison meme, that would be really awesome. What do you think about that? Will we use them on that after prison show? Uh, we most certainly would. Look for more prison meme videos coming in the very near future. Heck yeah. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Dave, again, appreciate you for being held hostage at my place. Doing after prison show as well. Everybody here, I hope you enjoyed Dave as much as you enjoyed this video. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted. And make the most of every day. Perfect. You actually nailed that. Hey, look, until next time, peace.